the Houston Rockets look like they might be trading just about everybody on the team. Daryl Morey is tired of losing to the Warriors. He's tired of losing, period. Uh, I am of the opinion that they don't need to do anything with this roster. The roster is fine. I think the Warriors will be... I mean, you sit back and you just kind of wait and see what happens with the Warriors, right? Um, Adrian Wojnarowski announced today, or not announced, but put out a tweet this morning around 10.30, said, sources and calls to front offices, Houston GM Daryl Morey is showing an aggressive desire to improve roster with all players and picks available in talks. Hard to imagine James Harden scenario, but the rest under contract, perhaps even Chris Paul, could be moved in the right deal. The issue that they had from last season to this season is they got rid of their their best defensive players, right? Uh, Ariza and that bunch were what made everything possible for them on the defensive end. On the offense, it was always Harden and the rest of them. I mean, they play ISO ball. That's what they do. Chris Paul being included in this, there was a story that came out that said that Chris Paul uh, started to fight somewhat with uh, Mike D'Antoni about the type of offense that they're running against the Warriors. And he wanted them to move the ball more, basically. But they don't do that. D'Antoni has has taught ISO ball forever. So, yeah, this year was not going to go as well because they got rid of their glue guys. They got rid of their, their role players. Clint Capella, still a really good role player, but he wasn't enough. And even with the uh, the Warriors losing Kevin Durant, they still could not get better. Now, obviously, we think the Warriors might be better without Durant, but they were not able to change anything on that. So, uh, on this, let's see. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, the alleged dispute for Chris Paul and Mike D'Antoni was uh, reportedly over differing offensive styles as Paul reportedly pushed head coach uh, Mike D'Antoni for more ball movement while Harden does best in isolation. Uh, the Rockets, they already cleaned house. They got rid of the basically the entire coaching staff right after the postseason. Morey is tired of this. Uh, here is what, let's see. All right, I can promise you we're going to win some championships with James Harden, okay? Because we're not going to sit here. We're not going to go to battle every year. We're going to have a strong offseason. We're going to do whatever we can to, do, uh, to be a better team, okay? We're not going to sit on our hands. Uh, I can promise you that. That was uh, owner Tillman Fertitta. So, yeah, this is, the Rockets don't have a lot of cap space. They're going to have to make deals. They're going to have to make trades. But the team is pretty good. You bring in some roster guys that are, that are role players that understand their role on a team, and you can be right back up there with the Warriors. And if Durant leaves, if Klay Thompson leaves, it, whatever, it, say Steph Curry has an injury. He has been injury prone in the past. Things can happen rapidly. But I don't know that there's anything that they can do to compete with what the Warriors are doing right this second. I don't think there's a team in the NBA that can do that. So if the Warriors were healthy, now I think the Raptors have a really good shot to win the NBA Finals, and we'll get into that tomorrow before game one. But the Warriors, with Durant, with everybody that they have, the Warriors are, I'm not going to say unbeatable, but it is very unlikely that anybody in the West will be able to compete with them given the way that they are currently structured. But if I'm the Rockets, I mean, I've got the second best team in the West. Yeah, they had the four seed this year. Who cares, right? Everybody understands it's playoff basketball. That's what happens. So if I'm the, if I'm the Rockets, I sit back. I like the team that I've got. I maybe bring in some more glue guys, maybe shed a little bit of the uh, Clint Capella sixteen point five million this upcoming season, Eric Gordon fourteen point one, it's that. But Chris Paul and, and James Harden thirty eight point five million, thirty seven point eight. Find a way to cut down that salary a little bit, but bring in better glue guys, better role players, better defenders. That's the way you're going to get to it. You got to play defense in this league. Period. That's the way it goes. All right, off of that topic...